This is the final episode of the chat app series and in this episode we will be making our disconnect functionality where we can disconnect from the server and we will be exposing our server to everyone using ngrok. <laughs> Is NGROC basically lets anyone connect to your server without actually um, exposing your server, doing all the port forwarding and all the complex stuff. So it gives you a public URL which then redirects to your to your server and it works from anywhere. First, uh, I think I already mentioned this, but you must have Py and Grog installed. So just go to the terminal and type. Uh, I'm sorry. Just go to the terminal and type pip install py ngrok and you're good to go. I already done it in the first episode also. Okay, now, f now we have to create an account in ngrok. To do this, go to ngrok.com and then click sign up. Now I'm gonna create my account and I'll resume the video. Okay, I have created my account and once you sign up, you'll get a page like this. In this, you have to copy this code or you can go to the auth token and then copy this and set it here by saying pi ngrok oh, I didn't import it import pi ngrok and then pi ngrok dot set I think I spelled right and wait, it's supposed to be separated with uh, underscores set auth token and then you pass the thing that is copied oh I think wait hmm this is working ok I put it wrong I need to from pi and grog I need to import the ngrok class which I'll do now and now let's hope this works yes it is working now let's create a new tunnel this tunnel has to connect with our server running on this port and I already had a port variable for this so I'll just ngrok dot connect and then specify the port and then we have to make it a TCP connection and not a HTTP connection it starts a HTTP connection by default so I need to specify the protocol and I think that's done <coughs> not you are a public you are okay we got this public you are and now we have to uh, f uh, get the IP address of this now if, if it this uh, will output something like sorry TCP something something dot ngrok dot it will output something like this but we need the uh, actual IP of this server so we say socket dot get host by name and then ok I found it out and the URL, URL will be something like this so this dot n ngrok dot io and then the port number ok now we have to take out the t tcp and now we have to print out the code so maybe let's just print everything out um, why am I so bad at spellings print ngrok url and then the url then oh 
Okay, figure out the problem. It was just me being silly again. I missed the colon. Okay, it is working perfectly. We got a connection from here. Now, does this work? No, just printing out the setter again. Okay, figure out the issue. It seems we are we are calling the end block code without even starting the server. So maybe I'll just put the s dot listen here and now let's give it a try we got the code let's run the client yeah this is the client okay now let's sing something Okay, it is not working. Okay, I figured out what the issue was. When we start an ngrok server, it usually looks for the local host address, but we are passing a private IP. But no, it is a private IP, but still it is not local host. So we let, let's pass the local host address, which is 127.0.0.1. And now let's give this a run. Get the code and then we run the client. Fingers crossed. Okay, it is working perfectly. We can send messages. Let's send another message. Okay, everything is working fine. Now let's create the disconnect function. To do this, we can use the pickle pickle uh, library. And I was thinking of making um, let's just uh, pickle library is used for sending objects. For example, if you want, if you usually want a socket connection, a client and a server can only send strings or numbers. But with the pickle module, you can send objects like arrays dictionaries and even classes so let's just import the pickle module and if once we click the disconnect button we have the once we click the disconnect button the the client has to send an object to the server and the server checks if it is if the message is an object if it is an object then it has to disconnect from the client so to do that let's create a disconnect function and expose it to eel just like no arguments needed um, yeah s dot send pickle dot dumps which dumps that into a new pickle object pickle dot dumps let's just have a small array with one uh, two and something some string this doesn't matter you can have any object other than a string here okay now let's go to our main dot child.html and then now where's the exit button yeah on click we have to execute the quit room function now, is this the actual chat which we created mm. yes this one okay where is it we have to call the quick quit room and we have to first create that function here so to do that let's call new function quit room and then inside that let's just say e lot what is function name e lot disconnect and i think it's done now let's go to the server and then after every message 
<coughs> so, so this and then first we have to import pickle layer also now we will try and unload this pickle unload this uh, this of uh, this array from the message using pickle dot loads and if there is an error then we can we are going to treat it as a string okay we inst we imported pickle now try we have to keep that in first we have to try to get it then try to unload that object pickle dot loads message um we, we don't need this here i'll tell you why and we have to send message dot decode because we remove the decode there here also let's just say that UTF-8 and now if you get an exception we have to do this and then we have to break and then connected sorry we don't need to break we just say connected is equal to false hmm, why does it say that ok now this fix the error connected equals to false and this is your exit now let's just import this here and now let's give this a run now let's press the button send something hmm, what is error okay let's not worry about that now. there actually wasn't it's any error it was just that I didn't do something to notify us that we have disconnected okay, now let's print something so that we know that the server has disconnected My spelling's all bad today. Um, name has disconnected. Then let's broadcast this also so that the others can see it. Let's run it. Okay, there is some error with this NGRO client. Any URL starts with the 13 doesn't work. So I'll just run this again. Okay, we got something starting with three now. Let's try. It's working now. Let's try the disconnect. It is disconnecting properly. That's it for this video. 
thank you and bye i said that the this is the last episode i will be making one more video showing you how to make your server secure by making an encryption algorithm but that will be for later bye